In today's In-Depth, we're talking about medical tourism. It's where people who live in one country travel to another country to receive medical care. Some say the care is more accessible and in some cases less expensive. So we sat down with a woman who came to us from Scotland to Tampa for surgery. And she tells us why she took this trip and why reverse medical tourism is working so well for Florida. Well, joining me right now, I have Dr. Adam Shiner and Michelle Mitchell. Thank you so much for joining us here. And we are talking about uh, medical tourism. And first of all, doctor, let me first of all ask you what your trade is specifically. Yeah, I have a specialty in eyelid and laser uh, facial plastic surgery. Okay, and Michelle, where are you from? From Paisley, Scotland. Scotland, she's not making that up. That's no. wonderful. So what procedure did you have done? And, and maybe even more important, why did you decide to come over to the United States from Scotland? I had eye bag removal and festoon removal. Back home, they don't do this treatment whatsoever. The result is to cut them away and you'll be left with big scars on your face. Really? So I decided to research on the internet and Dr. Shiner's name came up and I just researched everything and I was hooked. I had to get this surgery done. Now, do we, do we have before and after pictures? I think we're gonna show of this because I wanna see what it, what it looked like before because I, I, work, I have 747 bags under my eyes, but oh my gosh. So there on the left is what the before product was and then the after, and I imagine this was right after the surgery or very close to it. Yeah, it was like a few days later. And if you see the little swollen mound on the cheek, that is the festoon. That's the part that's been problematic for a lot of doctors to fix. Yeah, the, 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 well, what, what, what some of us call the bag, the right. bag part of it. Right. So, I mean, you're, you look amazing. Yes. I mean, that, that, that's, that's I'm crazy. Absolutely delighted with it. The way I can describe it, although I had eye bags, it's like an extra eye bag on top of my cheek. Yeah. So I just... Um, and that made you want to smile, you oh, look like, yeah. Everybody said, are you tired looking? And I would oh. say no, and I would get angry. So I have to thank Dr. Shiner. He's completely changed my life. Now, what's amazing, <laughs> doctor, is that you have really not, not only are you good at what you do, but you've made this kind of an international draw. Not only do people come for the surgery, but it's like, hey, they're coming to Florida. Right, right. I, I have an 80% fly-in practice. 80%? So people, when they come here, what's nice for our area is that people will stay in the hotels, they'll eat at the restaurants, sometimes before surgery they'll go out around town. So I have a, I'm a little financial engine for this area. Yeah. And I love the fact that I'm a resource for people to help them with these conditions. So, so when, you, when you got into the, the business, did you know that this is the way it was going to go or not? No, I had no idea. And it, it evolved this way. Uh, because I started doing this, tre I was doing this treatment for years. And then the media started to notice, and then I got featured on Dr. Oz and oh, Dr. Oz, the there doctors you go. Yeah. and Howard Stern and these sorts of things. Th that's where I'd seen you before. I knew I'd seen you before because I think I've interviewed you before. But th that's really interesting. So eighty. So uh, do you advertise? I mean, when you go back to Scotland, you're obviously going to tell your friends about oh, it, right? Yes, for sure. I mean, is that how? Is most of it word of mouth then? I think what happens actually is when people look up these words, festoons. I've done so much work on this that it comes up very high in the searches. So even if you're in a different country people will find these um, these clips I've been on and then they start to research me and then they they realize that I do a good job with this and then a lot of times they'll contact us and come in for surgery now let's talk about the reality of facial surgery or any what we call elective surgery in the United States of America you, did you have insurance that paid for any of this no I just paid for it privately right and most people don't have insurance that covers this correct correct does that uh, make make it less likely that you're gonna have clientele that come or because people have generally saved up for this procedure that you know they pay in cash and that's a lot easier to deal with. True, and we do have financing available through certain companies. There are ways that we, people can afford this if they want to have it done. Now the whole business with plastic surgery, I mean you're drawing people from overseas, but again they didn't even have anything like this in Scotland at all. And that kind of surprises me, because Scotland is a, a modern co country, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I, because I recruit from Asia and from the Middle East and from all around Canada and the States too. And yeah, I somehow the procedures that I do, I have a lot of experience doing this and I don't think that other people couldn't do these procedures, but I don't think that they're really interested in going through the same sort of learning process that I had to go through to do mm -hmm. these treatments. So they're interested more in doing other types of procedures uh, besides, and I specialize in this and that's what's great. Okay, so you do you have like a travel agent that's in your office? <laughs> <laughs> well, my staff, I mean, you think about it, it's a lot of details. If she's yes. going from Scotland, she has to think about the hotel, how she's going to get from the airport, right? And all these things. Yeah, we, we're very tuned to all this. Yeah, and so, so are you working 
working with any particular hotel chains that in town with, so they kind of give you a special discount and stuff? Yeah, we initially had one by the, the beach and, uh, and it was great because they, all the patients were staying in that hotel. So they would get to meet each other at different stages of the healing. Oh, wow. In fact, uh, back then, one actually bought a, uh, a lounge chair and they left it there for the next patient and they were signing <laughs> their names on the back saying, I'm Dr. Shiner's patient, and they would write their name and the place that they were and the date, and it, and it was this, this whole lineage of all the different people that came. And it, I, the fact that there's a brotherhood and a sisterhood from my patients uh, you know, who've come and gone, I think it's a lovely thing. Uh -huh. So wh where's that chair now? You still have it? We, I, it was actually at this one hotel, and then it changed management, so I think it, it, it well, lost it. But yeah. I have pictures of this. Though. Okay, so, th so that you got it back. Yeah. Uh, it, so what were other things that you did besides the surgery when you came here? Well, we've basically just been in the hotel recovering just now, uh -huh. but, um, but we're going to come back hopefully next year and be able to tour. Yeah, because, Tampa because you liked it so well, right? Yeah, yeah. loved it. Yeah, does it ever loved get warm it. like this in Scotland? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, well, that's one of the, the draws of Scotland. Yeah. Then. Uh, so in medical school, they obviously didn't tell you about this market for international tourism and bringing people here. What are some of the hurdles that you have to go through with those? You know, when I first ended up on Dr. Oz, we got, we got, you know, hundreds of calls from around the country. And then I had to, right, I had to evolve and figure this out. So I had to hire different staff, and then we had to start working with it. So it, it came apart piece by piece. We started figuring the hotels that people wanted to stay at, and we had to work out transportation. And then, and now we have a whole system that's built, built in to help these no, people. We know, we've always known, you know, uh, anecdotally, that we have a lot of people from Canada that come down here for surgeries. Right. But, and, but a lot of those were, were not elective surgeries as much as they were, hey, I was told in Canada I couldn't get a knee replacement for six months, and it's like, I can hardly walk. I've got to get it done now. Right, right. But then, then this field comes along. Now, for you, it's got to be easier because most people pay in cash, so you don't have to chase the paperwork, as they say. Correct. Correct. Uh, so, what do you, you got any other big plans? Can you do this on a tour boat or something like that? <laughs> have, you, have you thought about that aspect of it? Well, you know, luckily I have my Florida license, so I can operate here in Florida. But that's the great thing. This is a great draw. People like coming here mm -hmm. you know, to Tampa. And so it works out very well. I mean, I have patients, when I, I've had people come from Saudi Arabia and from Dubai, and they, oh, really? they say, well, if you could set up a clinic there in Dubai, I have a lot of patients, but they're already coming here. I don't really have to oh, do yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, just remember, in Florida, wear a ton of sunscreen. You know, just slap yes. 50 on there yes. because after you've had that surgery, the skin is a little delicate. How long ago did you have that done? Uh, 10 days ago. 10 days ago? 10. Wow, man, know. you know your stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you. Doctor, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having us. Mitchell, thank you so much. Thank and you so enjoy much. your time thank here. You. I see that you have your husband with you, so just. Can I just say a big shout out to my husband? You can John. shout out to your husband in the back of the studio. Just to thank you so much, John. He supported me 100%, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. All right, great. Thank you. He's sitting in the back there. Good talking to you, folks. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you.